After what was uh, a couple of days ago, some really intense thunderstorms moving across just south of me here from, say, Merseyside. They came from the Midlands, Merseyside, I had to say. Spectacular to see, I wasn't able to video that, I was busy. But today is a day of a greater chance, a better chance, not just that area, but here as well in Blackpool and several parts of the UK. According to the weather models, a lot of potential to see thunderstorms. Uh, breaking out a bit later on in the day from any time from about four o'clock maybe six way up until about nine o'clock tonight a lot of energy i was hoping a bit more heat had start to uh, rain down on us from the sun we've got this really thin layer of cloud that's hanging around this morning i'm just hopeful i'll say hopeful that this breaks up a little bit and we get some heat coming through but the majority of all these storms will be coming from the midland areas homegrown beefy showers with lots of potential and lots of energy and I'm very excited to go storm hunting today. I've always been a little bit old school when it comes to storm chasing. Uh, a little known secret, you probably know this. If you put the radio on to uh, the AM band, the radio frequency is kilohertz and the lightning strikes and the static interferes with the radio waves. That type, that type. But I've got a large cell that's to the south uh, east of me, which is developed from Longridge and it's gonna undercut Preston and looks like it might come across this way. There is nothing I can see cloud-wise that's given me some great pointers at the moment it's just a mass of a dark bluey type grey mass of cloud but right over in distance where they've got the big um, mass that are sticking up I don't know if you'll catch it on this it is looking mistier so it could be the leading edge where it's raining so I might not say anything if there's lots of rain coming down on the radar it does look like there's heavy rain out and about I need a sign, I need a sign. In the meantime, we've had some fantastic photographs being sent in of shelf clouds and all sorts of bits and bobs. And also today there's been reports of tornadoes in Yorkshire, if not, if anything, a funnel cloud in Yorkshire, which was my prime spot to go. Um, I'm not gonna track off there today because by the time I get there, like further south, there's some beefier thunderstorms, but by the time I get down there, it might be too dark and I don't want to go too far afield because it's what, it's half five? I've probably got four hours of, uh, of daylight to go. I want to, my money's here. Stayed on the foul coast. It's definitely building. It's grown a heck of a lot that. Um, shrouding a lot of Preston and South Ribble going off to, I would say, to uh, Ormskirt, north of Southport. Um, trouble is, I could move position and that completely dies a death. So it's just, it is a waiting game. You can hear constant lightning strikes on the radio. Now this has been going on, this particular storm, this, I think it's just a cell for now for the past 40 minutes. So it's got the energy. It's early days, early days. But there could be more, there's plenty more. I mean the country now it's pretty littered with thunderstorm cells, various cells all over the country. So it's a case of choosing the right spot. So we've just got now, it's saying that it's a local one, which is 15 miles to my northwest. Doesn't make any sense because behind me, it's, just, it's definitely not in that direction. It's more like 15 miles to my southeast, um, which makes me think that I need to move. I need to move. I need to move. I'm going to move. I'm going to move. Right, so I've just moved more towards Inskip. I was telling you about those big iron ten irons before, and ten irons uh, over there. It was definitely uh, shrouded in rain because it's raining now. Uh, but uh, looking up all over the top of the sky, there it's definitely dark. There's definitely something developing. 
very dark, but I can't see any lightning and I can't hear any thunder. I think I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna wait it out. Thunder. I think we're looking in that direction. That's deep, that's deep. That means business. I'm gonna have to get some lightning on this. I think I found a decent spot. I've got a tree line here, which may hide any storms moving off in that direction. But the trouble is when you do country lane driving around, you can never really find a perfect country lane that's got no tree line, no hedgerow, and away from cars. But I think I found a little neat spot actually. Just then, straight down, bolt lightning. Listen, listen, listen. Bolt lightning, oh I hope I've got that. Change the settings on the mic. That tall green tree there, it must have been about Two mile. Might get the bigger camera up and running. Did you see that? Sheet lining, slightly pink to the left of the tree line. Yes! yes! I saw that, I did, oh, I saw it in the corner of my eye. That was pretty instant, that, that was close. Over there, over there. There's a lot of rain in that area there, and in theory it's going to come this way, so I might end up inside the car. But it is slow, slow moving. A lot of these storms today, or well, this evening, are slow moving. But the air is calm, there's no wind, there's nothing. I can hear thunder now, just off in the distance. It's very, very faint. I'm not um, hopeful anymore. Might actually get two lightning strikes though in the video so far. I don't think there's any more to come. Uh, there's a rash of cells, about five cells making their way across Cheshire, which is indicative of what happened last time. But we've been inundated now with the heavy rain that I saw coming in. And the thing is, this lump of rain is, uh, is quite wide and it's going right over to the side of Long Ridge. This is 99% of storm chasing. You can just see now the back end of this heavy rain that's coming over. Um, you can see the top of a large cumulus cloud right off far in the distance. 
but you can actually see some definition now, some clearing. All that rain that was over there has actually, it looks like it's gone in that direction and over in this direction here, I'm not going to turn the camera around, it's raining on that side, which is a good indicator that I'm in the right spot for these storms to come over. Now bear in mind, this looks like it's formed sort of Long Ridge area, but there's huge cumulus cloud there. That's got to pack some energy in. In fact, on the radar, it looked like there was some lightning in that. So that could be my next target, and I'm staying put. Oh, one thing about nature is it always surprises you. Look at that now over there, all nice and clear. So that rain came all the way over, and it went over in that direction. As you can see, it's all mucky and horrible and dirty. Now, it still looks quite misty in that direction. It's a lot cooler. But the Pennines, where Beacon fell, just north of Preston, just there, and you can see the mist on the ground, where it must be the heat of the ground has caused it the, uh, the moisture just to lift a little bit. Beacon fell is just a little mound over there. But look at the size of those cumulus clouds. Don't think the cumulus nimbus is one big massive one up there. I might try and get the big camera, get a decent shot of that. That looks like it's punching its way through a little bit. I'm going to keep an eye on that one. But the majority of this rain now has passed, thank God. I've been sat in the car for quite a bit with this rain coming over. It's cooled the ground. So because it's cool now, nothing homegrown I don't think would help. I need something that's heavy and established. A nice big cell to bring itself over in this direction. Oh yeah, look at those clouds. Look at the curving, arcing and flicking up. Where all the air, the turbulent air, is all working its way around. It's very pretty. Never two clouds the same, is there? That rain is well, well gone. But I'm just stood here in awe, appreciating the, the grooves and the smooth waves of all these different cloud formations that are now appearing on what would be the south side, the back side of that rain that went over. Where traditionally, if you've got like a large thunderstorm, a supercell, it would be the back side of it, the south southern side of it, as it were, that you'd get uh, like hook echoes. You've heard that, haven't you, Paul? With uh, funnel clouds, war clouds, or tornadoes. I don't expect any of that on this case. But let's just enjoy and watch the clouds change across the sky. Who needs TV when you've got this? See, I'm not going to get all tornado -y on you, because this certainly isn't the case for that. But you do pick things out, you do notice things when you look up at the sky. And as I said, this is the back side of the system that's just passed. It was a thunderstorm, so it was a cell, a thunderstorm cell. But you can see with that time lapse, where the circulation, the cloud wants to bring itself round, where you can see the movement of the air, the different layers of the air, and you can see how the physics of all that is taking place, even on something that's simple or simpler than that. And right over in that di direction there, again, you can see like a, what do they call, is it sc not scuds, the, like the dotting, the trailing effects of the clouds at the back end as well sort of dotting itself along the sky all the way down towards Beacon Fell right down there now if I had to put my money on something that was gonna provide a wall cloud or a funnel cloud it would be this area here that's where my money would be now just coming over the top of Beacon Fell you've got a dark wedge of cloud that's coming down. It's not, I know, it's not. But you can see how this works. It'll be interesting to see how that displays and pans out. You'll see that on the, on the tape. It's definitely a large mass of bowing down cloud that's coming up over that beacon felt area directly to my east you see I think from my experience of doing this even when I've not been storm chasing I've seen things in the sky that resemble 
wall clouds and funnel clouds huge ones they don't even touch down but huge troughs coming down like that you know and i see it quite often even after many thunderstorms but they don't obviously spawn into tornadoes and i can see why now per square mile this country does have more tornadoes than anywhere else in the world that's amazing isn't it certain clouds that i'm looking for right now to indicate that it's still going on you can't see it well on either camera because it's so far away but it looks pretty neat to me well it's all gone pretty quiet now even on the radar it looks like everything's really quietened down except for the midlands below the midlands uh, you've got some belters going on down there. That's way too far for me to, to be travelling at this time of night. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Uh, hopefully this is a taster of things to come. We could do a couple of weeks of, for holes here anyway, just warming up a little bit more and then getting a bit of a slam going on, getting some proper beefy thunderstorms up in this direction, which would be really neat. Unless anything else happens this evening, this is probably the end of the vlog. There's nothing else uh, in that direction it's quite far right over in Derbyshire uh, so we're looking we're looking a good hour or two if not longer before anything else comes this way and I don't fancy standing here all day doing that so I ain't going to hang about uh, there's some tall cumulus clouds punching through there but I don't think I don't think it's worth it I've been here hanging around now three three and a half hours and uh, I've got one or two lightning strikes can't wait to get back and end this vlog be great listen before you disappear please make sure you subscribe because it means so much to me i'm what nearly a thousand subscribers hit the notification bell and if you can try and follow me on the social media facebook link in the description area down below and i really appreciate you following me and i hope you're enjoying the videos that i'm making and i'm hoping to make more when there's more weather to show you so as usual, until next time, ta-ra.